Next to the pub Poor Judgment on Lower Broadway is Baru, an authentic Japanese noodle house. I'm Steve Lucier, and we're at Boru Noodle Bar in Newport Island. We've been here for four years, and we're a Japanese-inspired ramen noodle bar. We uh, decided to open this restaurant here because we like the idea and the concept of uh, an alternative fusion cuisine in a town that we felt really could use something like this. We have a small eclectic menu, it's only about 10 to 11 items. We do uh, a couple traditional ramens as well as some with our New England flair to it. We have a, a bite section, so we do a couple salads, we make our own kimchi, we uh, have house cured chicken wings we make. So, uh, a, a fun menu and diverse, but small, so we maintain a, a level of quality we're really happy with. Ramen is basically, it, it's a, a Japanese concept that came from, essentially a Japanese comfort food. Um, it's just a very simple, when you break it down, it's very simple, just noodles, broth, and toppings. Um, and then since then, it's kind of elevated to where it is now, where it's a much more of a, a more artistic version of that simple process. But still, when it gets down to it, it's still just a comfort food. That then we just take a flavorful broth, and then we try and influence uh, food from our background, our culinary inspirations, and apply it to that uh, style of cuisine. So it's a little bit of both, the traditional Japanese approach, but with our own local and uh, our own local style. We don't make the noodles, we get them from an excellent company out of New York City, it's all they do is make ramen, but everything else here is made in-house. We make all our broths, we do all the meats in-house, we uh, make our own kimchi, um, we work with tons of local farmers and as much fresh fish off the boat as we can get and uh, yeah, we have a, a, a good background, a lot of French cuisine kind of that style. Casey lived in Thailand for a few years, so our influence is uh, from all over really. So this is our, our dashi, which is our one of the bases for our sauce. It's made with um, kelp, which is called kombu, which are these sheets of kelp you can see here. Um, so it's basically the, the kelp is steeped in the broth and then it's finished with a dried fish called bonito which is a uh, Japanese dry cured smoked tuna that is then shaven paper thin and then also is basically steeped in the broth and permeates the broth with uh, smoky fish aroma. So it's almost like a very light but very flavorful broth. Uh, this, this is our mushroom beef ramen. Um, it's one, one of our more popular newer items on the menu. You serve this with raw beef and raw egg yolk and as you eat it, the beef and the egg yolk actually cook in the broth so it's kind of almost like a hot pot style. So our steamed pork buns is um, basically, this is like a, a Taiwanese style of uh, dumpling. The dough itself is called a bao dough and we just basically steam it off and then we fill it. Our pork buns are served with our, with our same braised pork belly, um, house made pickles, uh, radishes and scallions with, with hoisin sauce. Okay, so we're going to do our house ramen, which is by far one of our most popular ramens here at Boru. It's a classic shoyu style ramen, and shoyu just means soy based. So it's a soy based ramen. We do uh, pork belly in ours. Uh, you can do chicken or other things, but our classic Tokyo style ramen is a pork belly one. So we're going to take you through that. We're going to start here with this beautiful pork belly, and we cure it in house for about 24 hours in salt, sugar, and Chinese five spice. Then we roast it in the oven and then cool it overnight and slice it. So at this point, we're just gonna hit it on the flat top. Get some, get some really nice color on there. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna grab our bowl. We're we'll gonna start with our liquid seasonings or our tares. This is our, our shoyu house tare. So it's a combination of soy sauce, sake, and mirin. And we reduce that by about half. And that's the base of our liquid seasoning. A little bit of ground white pepper. And then we're going to go in with our bonito salt. We take the same bonito that we used to make our dashi and we grind it up with a little bit of salt and it gives it a really nice smoky feel to the dish. And then the last one is a little bit of pork fat and that's going to really give it that richness. I'm going to go ahead and drop my noodles. Those only take about 
minute and a half to two minutes to cook. I'm gonna grab a ladle of our double soup here, which is the dashi and the chicken stock. Go ahead and add it to our liquid seasoning. I just wanna shake these around so nothing clumps or sticks together. Our ramen noodle specifically is made with alkaline salt, which really sets it apart from like an Italian pasta. It gives it that chew and that kind of, not so much al dente, it's more of like a really nice chewy feel to the noodle. You wanna make sure you get all the water too. You don't wanna dilute that broth flavor at all. So get all this out and then classic ramen technique is to give it a good shake and we'll go over to our soup. We're just gonna finish our soup with the toppings. So the toppings for our house ramen are scallions, uh, bamboo, which is a popular shoyu topping, a little bit of napa cabbage, uh, a half soft boiled egg, and the pork belly. Awesome. And then just to finish with a little bit of sesame seeds. And that's our house ramen. right now is our Mediterranean seafood ramen which is basically a Japanese style ramen noodle dish but making and using uh, a more of a style from my Portuguese background and, and the local and just uh, the local seafood from around here which little necks, chopped clams, mussels all come from our waters here and it just kind of brings the New England flavors uh, that are very common in a lot of the Portuguese restaurant seafood stews into a ramen dish that typically won't have the same because right, this is going to be a tomato you know, tomato-based broth, which typically is not common in a ramen-style uh, broth. But so now we're marrying a little bit of the of our basically background into this dish. So, and we start off with uh, a little bit of oil in the pan with some aromatics. We we, uh, we saute off. We add a little chopped garlic, and this is important to to want to toast the garlic. Definitely add a little. You want to brown the garlic off before you add it to the next step. So once the garlic starts to get color, a little bit. And then at this point we add the actual base, the flavoring for the broth, which is um, a Mediterranean sofrito. And it's basically just a puree of vegetables, herbs, spices that basically incorporate the most of the, all the flavor into the broth. And then we add, this is our house broth, which is a combination of a, a chicken stock and a dashi, which is called a double soup. And now, put the lid on, and this is where we start the braising process, uh, the, little, the cook, steaming process the next. At this point, we would take our noodles, and then they cook about a minute and a half in the water. Now that this must, we will cook about a minute and a half, two minutes, we'll go with the main of the ingredients. around and then we will cook again now we'll cook until everything is open this will take about another five minutes four minutes all right so now we're going to start to assemble the actual ramen bowl the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the broth to the bowl we'll start placing the shellfish on top and now we will garnish the ramen with the toppings so first the Castlevania olives, oil cured olives, this is the crispy garlic, some of the herbs, the confit red peppers. And that is our Mediterranean seafood ramen. Okay, so this is their Mediterranean ramen bowl here at Baru. Clams, mussels, gorgeous olives, really taste that seafood. The olives are delicious but not overpowering. The broth is gorgeous. This is as good as it gets for ramen. Okay, let's attack some of this, this house pork belly here. Look at that, that looks beautiful. Noodle. Mmm. Oh, yeah. 
um, when you have every kind of food almost that you can want here on Broadway, and this is a great addition because now you have an Asian noodle shop, and Asian noodles are really, really delicious. And they do it really well here. The place is always packed, and uh, we can see why. We're a town of Newport that's very seasonal. Broadway's the best year-round area for being in business, and it also has, it, it's new and upcoming, it's young. It's, the people here are, are, are locals and they're here for the year round, so they're going to be loyal customers for us and they're willing to experiment and try different things.